hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelly Yens. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. And starting me. Starting. starting. KJ in the house. I don't wow. need you. I don't need no correction right now. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm going to do what I do. <laughs> That's my baby, y'all. I got to help my baby. Okay. Well, I'm, sometimes you know, I, I do. I, I let him slide sometimes. I don't sometimes. need your help all the time. <laughs> Leave me alone. He right. I ain't going to give it all the time. I'm going yes. to do what I do. Give me a kissy boo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I say kissy boo you. You smell good. No lipsticks on my lips today. When I go to work, they're going to think something got... I got some sugar in my tank. Y'all, so today, 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 we're doing a, what is this? Just some rice. And I saw this with my girl. It's Wani. Y'all go check out my girl. It's Wani. If you've, uh, if you've not already a Wani poo. I saw her do this the other day. And I think that she got it from somebody else. She had this um, Mike's Hot Honey. So what she had was some um, chicken wings. I've got, this is some Tyson barbecue chicken wings and i use my air fryer as well she used her air fryer and this is the be love smack delicious not the new sauce but my sauce that i kind of i kind of twerked a little bit so be love slack smack delicious slash my sauce in it on and put it in there and i put some of this mike's hot honey on top of it and i mixed it up like she said she did and i put it in the air fryer so it looks like it's burnt but it's not it's just charred in, in the color of the Be Love Smackalicious sauce. You know that color is brown. We've got some rice. it got some colorful uh, sweet peppers here. Some quail eggs that I love. And some jalapeno peppers and some raw onions and steamed rice that I love so much, y'all. And I got, this is what, baby? Peach what? This Crush. peach. Peach crushed drink. And I got some... Scotch bonnet that I saw my girl stop Steph and Tasha and my girl Keisha, Ladybug Keisha of uh, Miss Diversity 3 have. And we followed my girl Tamar's League. And what you got, baby? Hold this up. What you got to the people? Some green Tabasco sauce. Yeah, so we're going to get in it. We're going to get to praying over food and drink. And we're going to get to eating, y'all. Go ahead, baby. My Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior, I thank you right now, God, for last night lying down and this morning waking up, God. All because of you, God, because you show favor in us, God. And we asking you, God, to touch this food, God, so that it can nurse our body in such a way, Lord, it will leave us healthy after we eat it. And we also ask you to bless the water and the drinks that we have on the table, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Every time amen. you hit my leg, I'm going to get low. Y'all, I don't know get why low, he would get, get to say low, the food and low, drink shot. But it doesn't low, matter. Low, Whatever low, he prays, what he low, prays. Get, That's low, all. get high, get high, get high, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Every time she hit my leg, boy, I'm getting low as I can get. Child, is he trying to be T-Pain in this camp? I thought you was burning I that. do what I do, boy. I do what I do. Y'all, so we're going to get to eating. I want some of this. Um, and I want to get a shout you want to give a what, babe? To my co-workers, my supervisor, my big boy, Steven, and my other boy, Big Baby. I want to thank y'all for subscribing last night at work to our channel. And thank you. I, I hope you enjoyed. Boy, I hope you enjoyed. Boy, look at here, boy. But I'm, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked all other. At least you had what you gonna do about it, boy? What you gonna do about it, boy? You know I move around a little bit, boy. Boy, look here, Classic Clay ain't got nothing on KJ. Watch mm. yourself. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Spicy, spicy. That scotch bonnet. I need to make me some more Be Love Smackalicious sauce until uh, I can order the new sauce packet. Not gonna order nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make it. Of people knocking on my door, and when I get out there, they hopping in the truck, taking off, and I look at the front door. There's a package there. It ain't the sauce though. 
I don't care what it is. I do. Every time I turn around, you got something coming. There we go. From Amazon. From UBS. Mm-hmm. Waking me out of my sleep. Y'all like uh, raw onions? When they came, baby? The other day. Mm. Today. Today? I wouldn't got it today. Good. So what y'all eating on? First of all, how y'all doing? Let's shut the ends. What y'all eating on? What y'all got going on? Mm. On this better day. You can get it tomorrow, too. Because you all. Yeah. Wow. I don't know when it's coming out, so it might not be tomorrow, as he's thinking tomorrow. I'm hungry, y'all. I am. I don't like it. Sour. Did you put some in your um, Tabasco? Mm-hmm. Have y'all tried that, that green jalapeno Tabasco? Pretty good. It is good. Mm. 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 We said mm, the same thing. Let me some, baby. This is pretty good, too. This Mike's Hot, Mike's nope. Hot Honey. I went high and low looking for it, y'all. Mm. No, I want some Tabasco, my love. No. That's why I gave you that. You can't, you ain't give me nothing. I know what you was asking for. I get it. Don't worry about it. Man. She can't. Oh, boy. I bet it work. Doing my thing. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Mm-hmm. Stop. Give me some of that. What are you doing? I want some of that. What's your problem? Boy, girl, you my whole boy. You still Like always, mm -hmm. this ain't gonna never change. She always wanna take other people's stuff. What's yours is mine. You should not forget your vows. Wipe your nose anyway. No. Wipe your nose. No, because you took my sauce. I ain't know what's yours. So I'm going to let it just run like a, uh, a river, a faucet. I don't care. You should. I didn't know this sauce was yours, Bookie. I just made it mine. Oh, okay. Where's my chicken? Yeah, y'all. So... We're going to have a topic of discussion. We're going to discuss what, baby? What we said? Wipe your nose, sweetheart, please. No. What does it take to have a successful marriage? And apparently today, we don't know. Who don't know? Us? You don't want to give me? Who is us? You and I, you don't want to let me borrow the... Um, you sound like the movie. Us. Boy, you ain't talking about me. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, you ain't want your wife to have any of that hot peanut pepper. Well, sauce. I've been with you for 13 years. How I not know? Trust me. You like those quail eggs? I got the key. What's the key to a successful marriage, baby? Y'all write down in the comments. First of all. What y'all think? Well, hold on, baby. What y'all think that the key is to a successful marriage? Let say? me put my chicken down. Oh, oh boy. I got to get serious now, boy. Boy, I got to put it on the table. But let me ask you the question. What you gonna do about it? The key to a successful marriage. First of all, you have to put God first. You have to marry a person for the right reasons. Because the wrong will interfere, neither in the short time or long time. But nowadays, marriage ain't lasting that long because people marry for all the wrong reasons. And things start playing out, wearing out. So, you go out and you try to find something else. But when you marry a person, first of all, the key to a, a long-lasting marriage is a couple that God put together. Because when God puts them together, can't nothing separate it. No matter how many storms or how many burdens wear them down, they still going to get back up. And out of the storm, together holding hands. 
No matter, man, I'm a firm believer of that. But you have to focus, get the tools that you need to make you a good husband. Because a man without the knowledge of a good man and a good husband will always lose his way, will always give up in the heat of the moment. You have to learn your wife. My wife, I know everything about her because, boy, look, boy, I keep these big eyes on her, boy. But I know everything about my wife. And I love everything about my wife. Some things in my heart I'm so sorry I've done to my wife. But I don't dwell on that. I don't think about that because I put that in God's hand and God don't put it in the same place. Now I can relax. I can live. I can love. Don't keep making them same mistakes because them same mistakes going to get you caught up. And it's going to make you lose something that God have blessed you with. And guess what? When you lose something that God have blessed you with, you, boy, you won't get it again. God ain't going to give it to you again because he's going to say you're not worthy of it. But love your wife. Know how to treat your wife. Know how to pamper your wife. Realize that your wife is your soulmate, that y'all are one. So that means you, I'm not... Don't ever abuse your wife. Don't ever call her out names that, that her mom and dad ain't never named her. Always learn how to treat your wife like a queen. And in that way, pull a chair, open the door. Sometimes help her fit the laundry. Unless she don't want to help you out there in the yard, like me and us. She want me to help her with the laundry, but she don't want to... Uh, Help me out there in the yard. No, I'm not going to do it. You do it yourself. No, I don't care if you do it yourself. I don't want to help you. You don't want to come help me in that big old yard? No. Well, I come in there soaking wet. Man, I'll be about to fall out. Boy, jeez, you don't even hop out the bed try to catch me. But it's okay, though. I still love her, man. I still love her, man. And I do my house chores. And, you know, but you have to learn and you have to grab the tools of a good man, a good handy man and a good husband. And once you do that, man, and you have to learn the respect that a husband supposed to have when it comes down to his wife. And I'm only speaking on a man behalf because, you know, even though you see a lot of things out there that you would love to have, cars, women, and all that, one thing that's off limit when you marry is other women. Hold up, you said that one thing that they would love to have yeah, I mean, men see things that they can see themselves with. I can't think. I mean, I mean, even cars and all that. But I'm saying, listen to my voice. Listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm and I'm talking to the man. So, woman, please be quiet. Boy, you, boy, you done did it in the eve. In the garden of the eve. Don't do it again right now. What I'm saying is this right here. You can have anything you, your eyes or fix on when you are married. You can have all that. You know, I mean, cars and motorcycles and all that. But you can't have another woman. No matter how good she look, or how fine she is, or how pretty she is. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. She, you can't not have her when you are married. When you say, I do, everything else is through. Mm. When it come down to adultery. You can't not do it. You have to give it up. I mean, all that going to clubs and, you know, clubs don't do nothing but lead to other things. Sorry. Been there, done that. I know. And hanging around with your boy, definitely, if they not married. That, that's just not no good. Right? Because you're going to end up doing the same thing that they doing pretty soon or later. You know, get a little couple of, you know, gin and juice in you, a couple of beers in you. Boy, look at here, boy, look, boy, you're out of control. But only thing I'm saying that the key to a good marriage if you, is when you and your wife work together through everything. And you're going to have to go through some things. God even allow your marriage to get tested. And you have to be strong enough to survive whatever it is that hits y'all plate and not give up. See, some people done gave up when they was only been tested. They done gave up on a good woman. 
when they was only been tested. They done gave up on the good man when he was only been tested. Boy, look at here, boy. You, you can't give up on everything. True. So some things is a heaven sent. Boy, right. you better recognize, boy. Trouble, correct a person. When a person hurt a person and they say, I'm sorry, baby, I need to work on that. I need to get it together. You know, man, I'm sorry. Then, you know, you, you have to open the door. And that's what I love about a lot of women that, 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 that understand that they husband, they boyfriend is going to make a mistake and, and they forgive them. But, he can't keep making them same mistakes. Because if it takes too many mistakes, then he ain't going to never learn. Mm -hmm. And not the same mistake, you know? And a woman, she like to be powerful. She like for her man to be there. And once you done made that commitment, man, it's your job to be there, to comfort her, to be with her, go places with her, you know? And just show the world, this is my queen, you know? This is my girl, man. You have to make her your best friend, boy, because guess what? Boy, them friends, you think it's your best friend out there? Boy, they come to kill, steal, and destroy your behind, boy. You, boy, you better watch out, boy. Mm -hmm. Boy, you can't trust everybody. But when God, he give you somebody you can trust, that's who you hang out with, and you'll be a better person. Sorry, I got to go. I got to eat. So true, y'all. But I can't say you can hang go to the club with your wife, use your spouse. That's okay. We go to a club, come to the club. Yet. But I'm I'm saying it, baby. I never said it's my couldn't. turn to talk. I'm not contradicting what you're saying. What can I talk? And I don't need you to butt in. What are you waiting on? Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all got some pepper all in my teeth and to be little soft. Mm -hmm. But y'all, y'all know I'm Lee Shelley with a little belly. Y'all know I'm Lee Shelley with a little belly. Number two, when I sing it, I say it. You know that your girl is already full. Oh now, God, already. I said my yeah. I'm I've been eating, eating the rice and everything else. But anywho. Before we go, I think communication is key. Communication, uh, prayer, praying together, have your own individual time with God, praying for your spouse, um, compromise, um, sacrifice. All those things are very, very important in a marriage and, any, and really in any relationship, but definitely in marriage. Because a marriage, for the most part, should be, when you get going to a marriage, it should be long term. It should be to the end. But we know that that's not case. That's not the case. I've been divorced before too. But uh, you know, my thing is, um, yeah, trials and tribulations will come, and you got to know your spouse. You know, pray for your spouse. I mean, y'all, it took us. We went through some things in our marriage, and I'm grateful for it. I mean, no, I wasn't grateful for it at the time when I was going through it. Shoot, now, but I'm grateful that God held us together, and it might have been by the thread of our chin and chin and chin, but He held us together. And I'm grateful. So like God say, just have small faith. You can have faith as small as a mustard little seed. And I think that seed is very small, y'all. That don't you have faith as small as that? Then that's good. And so we just held on. I'm grateful that we did. Um, but marriage is hard work, you know. And it takes all those things out that my husband just said and all these things that things that I said. The devil don't want marriage to last anyway. And people don't either. Which the people, the devil is in those people. Women nowadays are being ruthless. They don't care if you got a wedding ring on or whatever. They don't care if you're in a pulpit. They coming for you. They want that. You know, so, you know, a want wife and a husband just have to be proud for, for their mate. Just have to be proud for man. And know that not everybody um, is easy. Now, you may start off with your spouse, your your your, your um, person who you engage with, your partner, being one way at the beginning. But as soon as you get married, sometimes that thing can change. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's just a man either. Cause sometimes it can be on the latest part too. Men are the only people that, that mess that cut up nowadays. Nowadays we do too as ladies too. You know, nowadays we do as well. So, but my thing is you don't want to be held accountable. You you're gonna only be held accountable for your actions and your actions alone. You can't say, oh well, Lord, well, I did this because he did that. Well, I did that because she did that. Mm-mm. You no. Know, they don't work like that, y'all. But anyway, you know, just just hold on. To your God's to unchanging, your love, to your love, to hold on. and to God's unchanging hand, y'all. And you know, y'all can tell that I just want that. I want to say that I look at our videos sometimes on my husband's account or, or through another account, 
And, and when I edit the video, I look at it. And I, I don't want any of my Lichelians to think that, oh, she's so rude. <clears throat> she is rude with her husband. She don't care nothing about him. No, y'all. That's how we are. We that, That's how we are off cam camera, right, baby? Yep. Really, all that's really long. true. And that's, oh, he, he's really day. this way off camera. Oh, day Seriously, long. he's way too much, y'all. Oh, what? But I like what it, What you gonna though. do about it? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing I about it. I like it, but sometimes it gets on my last nerve. Not, not to the point where I'm bad. No, but sometimes you do get on my nerves, y'all. But uh, even on camera, you get on my nerves sometimes. But I hmm. know. What, baby? Boy, but when I'm not here, you blow my phone up. Boy. So, dude, I miss my baby. Yeah, boy, you blow my phone up. I miss my baby, you know? So, my thing is that, you know, y'all just enjoy each other, have fun with each other, and respect each other's differences, you know? He like to play a lot. I don't like to play as much. I like to play, but not as much. And I, we had the discussion. You have to discuss things with each other. Baby, I don't like all this sometimes. You know, I don't like it when you do this too much. Even on that channel, we discuss things about, baby, I don't, don't say that because you don't want to give this type of... Uh, this type of impression to the Lee Shellians of YouTube land. You don't want to do that, you know. So, that, right, baby, we discuss those things, you know, when we see them um, what in, do I in tell ourselves. You? What do I tell you? What you say? I do what I do. No. I'm going to do what I do. Yeah, he might say that, but he ain't going to do that because he going to get this right here. <laughs> he going to get a knuckle sandwich, uh, Fred Sanford, a uh, red fox in heaven. You didn't need Neither one of them things, but uh, I, I, I only had two. Problem? I had both of mine. You had two on your side, and I had two on my side. Man, you got two more on your side. Oh boy, I'm full right now, baby, y'all. So I don't like these these um drum. I like the flats. I don't like these. They too. They be too. But what about I got it, boy? Oh, oh good, 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 boy, good, boy, boy. I got them. You got them, baby. I got them to the T. Well, anyway, I'm thankful to mm -hmm. it's Wani mm -hmm. for in telling me about um uh, the Mike's honey. Um, hot honey, child up in high and low, looking for this thing. And I found it in Walmart, and I overlooked it for a minute. I guess, oh, there you go. And then I looked, um, I'm thankful to my girl, Eastwood Fifi. That's my sister, Pooh, y'all. Fifi, boy, yeah. what you doing, girl, boy? Beautiful boy. lady, y'all. You see her cooking all the time with what her black you doing? background. You making a video, boy? You cooking? Uh, what you doing, boy? You better watch yourself, boy. Watch it. Anyway, y'all, so my, my girl Fifi told me about going to Fiesta. Now, Fiesta is a store that we have here in Houston that I used to go to all the time. But um, it stands for party. That means party. I think that's a Hispanic word, baby. It means party, if I'm mistaken. But all types of people, people being there. I mean, it'd be full in Fiesta every time, you know. And so I had stopped going there because there's no Fiesta right by where we live. There's an H-E-B, Kroger, and stuff like Walmart, you know. We don't have a Publix here. I, uh, I saw the Publix in ATL when I was down there, so but I didn't have a chance to go in. Next time, go out with him with my husband and I go visit my girl Keys and Mandy and my boy Trey and Nene. Then we're going to go to the Publix. Did you say she called you and uh, say, oh, girl, I just wanted to hear your voice? Uh, yeah. So anyway, y'all, that's my girl right there, Mandy Pooh. That's my girl. So anyway, y'all, but we're going to let y'all go and... Um, Hold up, I'm what's your problem? I don't have any shout outs, comments on this one. I'm not going to be doing the comment shout out every time because my videos are not uploaded um, in chronological order, as I've said so many times, y'all. I'm not that efficient just yet. I work, you know, we work, so I, mm -mm, no, no, I can't. But some people who do work can, but I'm saying us, no, not right now. We ain't, we ain't got that to that point yet. But anyway, y'all, so yeah. But I found this in the thing, in the Walmart. <clears throat> And I'm grateful to my girl, uh, Eastwood Fifi, because she reminded me to go to Fiesta to go get my whole lobster. Yeah, I'm going to have my whole lobster. I'm going to let my husband, I'm going to buy that big old pot and let him boil it. It's going to be live. You're going to hear all this. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to be like this. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear that. You going to be scared, baby, to boil it? Boil well, what? A lobster, I just said. For what? For what, what? You going to well, well, be scared? I'm going to watch the baby burn, boy. It's gonna ball over for all I care. I'm gonna be right there looking. I'm not scared. Anyway, yeah, so thank you, East with Fifi, my sissy pool, for reminding me to go on go to Fiesta. And I got me some green lip muscles. I've never had those before, and I'm excited about eating them. So, anyway, this will conclude another episode. And y'all, please tell us in the comments what other topics, what things, food wise or topic wise, that we can do. Um, we have a we know for for us, you know, that you would like to see. That's what I want to know. 
That's what we want to know. I'm getting better at my comments, y'all. I, I I gotta just move. Come tell me how y'all back. Yep, 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 yep. Like my girl, my girl Nini say, y'all make leave a comment because you know she likes to talk. That's oh. my girl say. I love Trey Nini, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my fan right there. I can't wait to see them in real life, and I am go out willing. So anyway. This will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Y'all, don't forget to like, comment, please share this on your TikTok, which I'm, I'm going to try to start getting it on your Snapchat, on your Twitter, your Facebook, uh, what it is, Twitter, oh, Instagram. Y'all, yeah, please follow me on Instagram at the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. It's the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Please follow me on Instagram. If you want to. Uh-huh. If you want to, but they ain't gonna do nothing I want to do. But I, I'm not I telling did, you. I said if you want to, you me. can do what you I don't you need doing. you to say. Oh, no you different. heard me, boy. Look, I call the police. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. And on Facebook at the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. And share it everywhere, all your social medias and TikTok and all that stuff, like I said. Snapchat, all that other stuff. I don't have that. But. So, anyway, so ding dong ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. <laughs> so that you can be reminded. Of every every time your girl uploads a bit, D O. Okay, be quick with it. La 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 la. All right, Lee Shelley is bye. See y'all later, and we love you. I gotta go to work. Y'all better leave me alone, boy. You better yep. be playing with me right now, boy. I ain't playing with nobody, boy. Look here, boy. I got yeah, boy. I'm gonna buy a mic. I'm gonna give him a mic from Instagram. I do what I Amazon do. Amazon or Best Buy. Boy, I said I do what I do, boy. You don't do it. Boy, I do what I do, boy. Bye. Love y'all. I do what I do, ball high. Huh? Love y'all. I love y'all so much. Bye, y'all. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. <laughs> no, you crazy. <laughs>